people love this place. Ta-da! How's it going, guys? Ooh. I did a tour of this place not that long ago. I'll put a link in the eye above, but they got a whole bunch of cars here. There it is, guys. They have the Typhon Grom. Yes, I'm picking them up. I'm picking up both colors because I wasn't sure what color I should get. They only have two colors, so game over, guys. Getting them both. Oh, man, I'm so excited. What is up, guys? My name is Mark Samarino. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog, guys. Here it is, the new Arma Typhon Grom. So this is the second iteration of the Grom, the first being the Granite Grom. Now what's interesting is the Granite Grom, when it released, it was in-store purchase only. You could not order them online. This one, however, you can order online. I recommend you going down to your local hobby shop and checking it out first and picking it up from them. But if you don't have a local hobby shop, I'll put a link in the description below to a couple places where you can buy these. Because guys, these are gonna be hot. Actually, they're already hot. Let's open this thing up. By the way, I went with the red. I never give the reds enough love, so we're going with red this time. Ooh. And it looks good. Oh, nice. Look at this thing. <laughs> Super sick. All right, sorry. We have to move this show inside the garage. It's like mega windy outside. But let's take a look at these box panels really quick. The front has the beautiful blue and red colorway. This thing looks sick. It looks longer than the Granite Ground. We're going to find out for sure. It does come with the same 1400 milliamp battery and the charger. The charger is actually really good. I, I think it's perfect. You don't need a, a high power charger or anything crazy. I mean, it just works. Now on the top, it has a profile, like a side shot of the Typhon Grom. It's in the red and white colorway, which is the one we're running today. And then on the bottom, it says some things. It says tough metal gears. Now, wait, do they get metal gears in the Typhon Grom? Let me go check the other box. Nope, the Granite Grom also says tough metal gears. So people have been saying they've been blowing their front and rear diff or their whatever diff, the ones that are in the front and rear. I haven't blown mine yet. Maybe they did an update. I got mine a little bit later. Uh, but a lot of people are saying they're putting the metal diffs in there. Again, I haven't had a problem. Knock on wood, I might have with this one. But it then shows all the different features. High downforce wing. We're not going to go through all these. It does have a cooling fan, which is new. I don't think the Granite Grom has that. Quick release body mechanism. By the way, guys, I saw the way this body mounts and releases. It's pretty freaking sick. Tough buggy wheel and tire package. Again, not going to go through all these. Oil filled shocks. Hex hardware included. On the bottom, it has a whole bunch of other cool shots of the different features. Clipless body retention, four-wheel drive transmission, some up-close shots, which look really, really cool. And then on the side, it talks about how it has the 2.4 gig SLT2 channel transmitter, the 380 mega brush motor. It is not brushless, but it does include a heat sink and fan now. I don't know if the Granite Grom came with a heat sink, but I know it did not come with a fan. It did come with a heat sink, no fan. So the Typhon has a fan. And then on the other side, it has the two different colorways. Now this box has $160.99 on it. That's not what it costs. I think they mispriced it. I think it was $139.99. I'll double check, but I have a link in the description below if you wanna pick one up. But the two colorways are the blue and silver and the red and white. I got them both, but we're driving the red and white today. Oh man, so sick. All right, so here's what it comes with. It comes with your SLT2 remote, which this remote works just fine. It has steering rate and steering trim, and then it comes with the beautiful Typhon Grom. Now check out how this body works. You basically push back on this, it lifts up, and it comes right off. Look at how clean that is. Very, very cool. Let's see the bottom of it. Love it. Oh, let me flip it around. Don't just bash, blast. Love it. Super cool, nice design. And then here's what it comes with in the box. It comes with this really cool tool. It comes with your charger, a USB-C to USB adapter. It comes with AA batteries. You know how important that is to me. And then it also comes with some preload spacers. And then there's your little card in there, your Typhon Grom card. Very cool. And of course, a manual. Here's a closer look at the car. Looks very similar to the Granite Grom. I'll compare them here in a second. Nice and beefy. I haven't broken the Granite Grom yet. This one looks just as beefy, so I'm sure this one will be just as durable. There's that fan right there with the heat sink. And then again, the bottom of it. Arms look good. The wing mount looks solid. It looks like just a scaled down e-buggy. Very cool. Let me put it side by side with the Granite Grom. All right, here is the Typhon Grom next to the Granite Grom. You can see the Typhon is about maybe an inch and a half longer. Uh, the tires are much smaller, but definitely the chassis is longer. You have kind of these flanges here. 
that keep the dirt out on like the chassis is completely different here is the granite chassis there is the typhon chassis kind of based on the same thing however you can tell that they're definitely different mainly the length and the dirt guards they're just different because they use different bodies but very similar this thing is so much fun i can't imagine how much fun this thing is before you guys ask yes i'm gonna bring it to the track we'll get some track footage here in a little bit but i want to drive it at my house because i'm just so excited <laughs> Here they are next to each other under the chassis. I love that. Don't just bash blast. There you go, guys. All right, let's drive this thing. I absolutely love how this body goes on. So basically you just slide the body on like that and it clips right in place. What I really like is these side guards really protect the body from coming up or any dirt getting inside. Look at it. The body's like perfectly integrated in the chassis. I freaking love it. So clean, so easy to use. Body off body on i did that all with one hand love it all right here we go oh I'm trimming a little bit to the left here i'm gonna turn my steer rate all the way up because i can handle it all right very cool so i wasn't expecting it to be faster than the granite grom Ooh, it rotates really well really really well <laughs> oh man i was expecting a push or maybe some inconsistent or hard to control steering definitely not the case oh man i have no complaints about the granite grom this one just handles better so they just made a good car even oh oh, oh i wrecked oh my god well, look at that it's got plenty of power handles really well i'm excited to drive this on the track a lot of times whenever you have these rtrs the steering's kind of sloppy I don't feel it like it's sensitive, but it's linear, easy to drive, doesn't lose control at all. Look at that. I mean, I'm basically half throttle making that turn and it's not wanting to flip or anything. And no guys, I wasn't, this car wasn't given to me. I wasn't paid to say any of these things. Sometimes I really just think cars are good. And this car, oh, is, is good. I mean, if I can hit that, that part of the sidewalk perfect it just goes to show how oh look at that how precise the steering is this thing is going to be fun on the track maybe even more fun on a carpet track again not blistering fast but definitely fast enough where if you're new to rc you're going to be like whoa that's fast it is waterproof oh my god guys i got i got no complaints seriously almost just ran into the curb there okay we got to take this thing to the track and see how she does all right guys we're here at indy rc world we're gonna throw the type and grom on the track for the first time i love this body design guys look at that i basically i showed you already but i can't get over it like oh it's so easy okay all right guys here we go i hope this works because if this works this is gonna be an epic like spec class here we go and we're out of the pit oh Oh, oh, I already, already clipped the rail. Look how little this thing is. I highly doubt I'm going to make this, so I'm just going to roll it the first time. This will be hard to, oh, this will be hard to make too. But I went for it anyways. A little off camber here. Woo. A lot of oversteer. I don't know if you can even see that. It's so small. A lot of oversteer, but these tires really suck, or at least for the track. They're not ideal for the track. Oh, look at that. I made that little jump. Not kind of. All right, here we go. Down the straight. So we did a full lap without flipping over. That's good. All right. I turned my steer rate down because, like I said, it had a lot of oversteer. Now, it doesn't have enough to really clear these jumps, but you can definitely get around the track, which is cool. So right now, I'm just trying to see what jumps I can clear, which isn't much. I don't think I clear anything, but let's see if we can just do a nice clean lap. I know I can't make the jumps now. So now we're just gonna try to do a lap. It handles really well. I think with the uh, with adjusting the steer rate, it makes it definitely drivable on the track. Now, because it's not making the jumps, see it just won't, I mean, that was basically full pin. I think if we put tires on it, where it like basically had more grip and then we put brushless on it, I think it'd be way better. But, oh my God, 
it's so small. You can't do it on a big track. This would be probably good for a 10 scale track, but this is an A scale track. There you go. We made that jump. That was cool. I had a run up though. All right. I have to do at least one lap without flipping over for me to mail this car in because that's just how I'm built. So overall guys, for a little $139 car, I think it's 139, 140, something like that. Uh, you can't beat it, seriously. Like you can take it out, bash it, and then you could take it to the track. You might need some upgrades, some tuning mods, but other than that, it's definitely capable of just going around a track. I think it'll be much better on a 10 scale track or a carpet track, but overall you could track this thing. Well, I hope you liked this video guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see you next time. Later guys.